affairs. Yes, I did dye my hair for a part. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to business, shall we? Are you ready? Wait, guys, stop right there. Did you know that if you click that like button down there, you get a lifetime supply of panda hugs? But here's the catch. If you don't, you're fruity. Suit up! Um, ZZ are actually my pronouns. They are... Caption says, I've never seen ZZ pronouns before. Genuinely curious about it. What does it stand for? The minute you learn, you're gonna miss who you were two seconds before. This, um, snazzy, dapper person right here seems to know a lot about gender studies and, you know, the gender spectrum. And they might even major in that. So, you know what, let's see what, uh... Z has to say. Um, ZZ are actually my pronouns. They are a non-binary expression um, for people who don't resonate with they them because not everyone does. There are other ones as well. So not everybody resonates with they them pronouns because they're normal people. It's just really weird that the idea of calling a single person they them wasn't unique enough for these people, so they had to dial it up to 11. We've got they them too, like, is she Czechoslovakian? Because not everyone does. There are other ones as well, such as fey fem. Fey fem. <laughs> Fey Femme. Is this a lipstick lesbian Bambi or something? <laughs> Fey? Like the the deer or the fairy or what? And then femme, like trans femme or femme lesbian. At this point, fee fi fo fum could be added to this category of pronouns and nobody would bat an eye because that's what they all sound like. So fee fi fo fum Look out, baby, cause here I come. And uh, many people have reasons for why they would prefer to go by an alternative. I have my own, and I will be doing my own explanation video on- Because you're a special snowflake. And not even they, them is special enough for you. No, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be uh, special. Hmm? No offense to the snow, snow self people, the- no genders, you know. <laughs> we're, we're we're definitely inclusive on this channel. My TikTok later in the week, but for now, um, yeah, they're just my pronouns, and they are what I go by as a non-binary person. Thank you. <laughs> it's great because you look very non-binary, and not like a woman who broke up with her boyfriend so she got rid of everything that he thought was beautiful. I know That, that was very short, but short and sweet. Got straight to the point. Let me see. Hmm. So uh, either he's like cosplaying somebody or that's just his, that's just his vibe. That's how he rolls. I don't know, but it looks very well put together. Okay, in the most respectful way possible, he kind of looks like if Chucky and Raggedy Ann had a baby, but Raggedy Ann went and cheated on him with Ken. Might sound harsh, but I'm validating Doll's identity. What, what more do you want from me? Shouldn't be with ya. Guess I'm a quitter. What the? <laughs> No, no, I'm not even, I'm not even, this is one of those situations where every adult in the area needed to be arrested. And, like, that baby, that's gonna be a core traumatic memory for him. No amount of therapy will ever make this moment okay. Okay, guys, this is five signs that you are gender fluid. Fluid, <laughs> at least they were for me. Number one, you have tried to be trans. <laughs> Huh? What? Who tries to be trans? I don't... 
that huh <laughs> there are some days that you just aren't and you know you're not cis well if you're not cis and you're not trans then i mean what are you number two if you've ever tracked your gender fluctuations to try to get sense of this whole thing <laughs> tracking your gender like clears everything up <laughs> yep everyone does that absolutely normal Nothing crazy about that. I just pay attention to like the parts I have. They fluctuate sometimes. Sometimes I have a and sometimes I have a and sometimes I have stuff here. Sometimes it's just not there. Like it just disappears and then it comes back whenever it wants to. That's the great thing about being gender fluid or schizophrenic. You choose. Number three, you taught yourself to tuck or pack or tried on some fake boobs and it felt so right that you cried so much that you didn't want to take them off, but then the next day, they didn't feel like anything at all? You just said that those parts were fake, so how would they feel like anything at all to begin with? Number four, you have come out at least three times as three different things. Yep, it's the classic, oh, I might be bi, then, nah, I'm just gay, then, Holy hell, I'm transgender! And the fourth one? It's whatever this is. But it doesn't stop there. I'm bisexual. No, I'm pansexual. No, I'm trans. What? Wait, I literally just predicted it. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm gender fluid. No, I'm a gender fluid trans woman. No, I'm a number f Wait, how can you be a gender fluid trans woman? I don't get that. I mean, I've heard of girl flux when you're like a girl, but you're sometimes you're a masculine girl and sometimes you're a feminine girl and sometimes you're an androgynous girl. Like I've heard of that, but gender fluid trans femme? I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, please explain it to me in the comments. Because I'm too old, you know? I'm a high schooler now. I'm just so old and getting wrinkly. You know, if I were a middle schooler, I'd definitely know. Five, let's really drive this home. If you want to start HRT and transition, but you're more scared about losing something than you are about regretting the change, you're probably not going to regret anything, and you're probably gender fluid. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, yep. Kids, go f your bodies. All right. I'm here when you need my I'm here when you need my question to you is, which one of them do you want to be in the relationship? Because making a post like this, you're definitely the one that's being led around on a leash. Meaning, a clown is you! you Whoa. Nah, Me when I finish a Roblox obby and equip all that random <laughs> This is so real though. Like, like when you finish a Roblox obby, and there are those little squares on the ground that equip you with random accessories that you can't take off. I played Roblox all the way up to 2020, then I stopped. So I get it that somebody would put this in a woke compilation, but that's just someone who enjoys the game. Although, I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually dress up like that to play the game. In real life and on their avatars. You are 30. Ah! Uma boat trip! <laughs> Uma boat trip! Uma boat trip! Start acting your age. Ugh. How about now? It ain't even Christmas yet. What's it with these people and Christmas? Like, we already had someone complaining about their sleigh, and now we got this person with these peppermint Mickey ears on, like, sir. And then towards the beginning, we got the special snowflake. Hi, my name is Brandon. I'm a self love enthusiast. What kind of self love are we talking about here? Too boring. I've been getting a lot of comments from cis men lately who have- Something tells me we're in for a treat. I've been making a pretty big deal of letting me know that I will never be a part of their man club because I was not born with a certain member that they were- I think it goes a little deeper than that. Born with. And I've been giving that a lot of thought. I think if I put myself in your shoes, I would probably feel pretty threatened too if my entire personality and sense of manhood was based on what was in my pants. 
Wait, so you mean to tell me that you threatened them with your very manly pink and black shirt? That hot Barbie pink should have just been an immediate sign that you're one of them and you're part of the pack. I don't know why they don't want to go and get a beer with you while talking about celebrities that they want to smash. Like, seriously. And you have a great understanding of manhood since you're saying that it's all about what's in your pants. I'm sure that there is absolutely nothing else. Urinal cakes are cakes, and Coke is Coke. <sighs> and that there are other men out there who have perhaps a more well-rounded um, sense of self, if you will, and don't have to rely on one thing. But in other words, they're not you. Uh, you can grow. You can grow and expand beyond that. I, I believe in you. You what? You can uh, build up that sense of self. OK, so she's saying that if men don't accept her because she's not a man, it's not because she's not a man. It's because they don't have a sense of self. And that uh, confidence, if you will, and join the rest of us when you're ready. Basically, all I'm hearing is, oh, I didn't get invited to the cool people party, so I'm going to have an even cooler party here by myself. Yeah, in your face. What? Transhousing by proxy, everybody. This is the epitome of the toxic boy mom. I know that she's over here treating her daughter ten times better ever since she came out as a boy. I bet before she was just so upset that she couldn't have a son, so she's like, hmm, what if I just turn my daughter into my son? Or her daughter caught ROGD and she was more than happy to go along with it because she just wanted a son so bad. It's like you had brown eyes, but all your life you've really wanted blue eyes. So all of a sudden you get offered these marbles and you pluck out your eyes and you put these marbles in. I'm sure that's gonna work. <laughs> Crazy white woman. Oh, hey, you dummy. I brought supplies for our project so we could get to work. But don't get the wrong idea. It's not like I like you or anything like that. I mean, who would like a baka like you? Definitely <laughs> not me. It's not like I have a crush on you or something like that. <laughs> you idiot. Read the room, you baka. Oh my god, I don't know how I did that. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I don't want videos like these anymore. Please, don't put me through that. It's just another reminder that some crazy people would like to have Doki Doki Literature Club in real life. What are they cooking this time? I can't- Oh! I can't believe you still see these kissless dweebs comment, What is a woman? The what? Huh? Find what a woman is. Did bro just say, kissless dweebs? <laughs> no, because I advocate for being stuck in the 80s, but this is just taking it way too far. As if they know anything about biology or social identity. So you're telling me that you have to know about social identity and biology to know that a woman is an adult human female? So those people in like villages in Africa and in the middle of nowhere in China, they're, they're never gonna be able to reproduce. They're screwed. Cause they don't even know what a woman is. Cause they haven't had an education in biology or social identity. Like how about you define what a woman is without excluding cis woman? First of all, cis woman isn't a thing. That's your thing. We're women, real women. Easy, someone with two X chromosomes. Uh-oh, women who have Turner syndrome are only born with one X chromosome. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess we better put them in the same category as men in dresses, right, fellas? But let's assume that that's not what you're saying. So you're talking about Turner syndrome, which is not when you get whatever you want by wishing to Cosmo and Wanda. Turner syndrome means they have either a missing or an incomplete X chromosome, but they don't have a Y. Hint, the Y is the male chromosome. Ooh, you just kind of embarrassed yourself because you just said that some women are only born with one and you didn't say a man. And men who have Kleinfelder syndrome have an extra X chromosome. Yes. Men who have Kleinfelter syndrome do have an extra X chromosome. Good job! You got one thing right, but oh no, you made a mistake. You know what they do still have? A Y chromosome. 
which is how you're able to say that some men have Klinefelter syndrome. If you're gonna come over here claiming to know about social identity and biology, you should at least get your chromosomes right. Someone who can give birth. I guess the millions of women with fertility problems aren't actually women then. No, no, no. And this is what we call the straw man fallacy. Kids, can you say straw man fallacy? Straw man fallacy. That's right! You're creating an imaginary enemy that's over here saying, Women who can't give birth aren't women. When that is your argument. No, 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 I mean someone with a uterus. How about the cis women who get hysterectomies or who are born without uteruses? All these are red herrings. Yes, they aren't women to you. And when they're all out of options, they'll say an adult human female. Replay this video and replace the word woman with female. This is called appealing to exhaustion. He's just trying to argue with you until you get tired of hearing his BS and you walk away. But the fact is, is that he's already proved himself wrong in the first two examples. So why is he still going? Well, he likes to hear himself talk. And he provides talking points to people who don't actually have their own logic. That's not being out of options, that's literally what a woman is. An adult human female. Replay this video and replace the word woman with female. You're in the same predicament, buddy. You mean you. There's no confusion over here on what a woman is. How is there no confusion on what a woman is when you have so many different variants of woman? Like, no, I'm being serious. You have uh, girl, demigirl, uh, demigirl flux, trans feminine, um, uh, Libra feminine, you've got uh, uh, fem flux, you've got all those different things. And you're saying there's no confusion over here on what a woman is? But you might have just accidentally let the cat out of the bag. I think that maybe you know what a woman is, but you just like to pretend you don't. Y'all are the ones who need to make up your minds. Y'all are the ones who need to make up your minds. I wanna eat that. <laughs> Serve? The only thing being served is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this person's responding to this guy who said, Imagine trying to explain this to your early ancestors. Honestly, I don't think that would be possible. Um, they simply would not believe her. I think it's a her. Because th that's like a binder, right? The pride flag in the back says otherwise. It says, um, gender fluid, and I think the heart inside is bicurious. It's possible that it's the bicurious flag or just some sort of trans identity flag. And it has to be popular enough for them to actually make it and sell it. I'm getting old, guys. I'm stumped by a pride flag for the very first time. If anybody in elementary school is watching, please tell me what that flag means. Just to let you know, this page supports LGBTQ plus people and their rights. If you are against that, get out. Okay, so what kind of rights are we talking about? Are we talking about natural God-given rights? Or are we talking about the right to put up this flag in a classroom and teach about it to children? Because one of them's right. And the other one's just degeneracy. This is why kids don't know anything. Instead of reading to them the book A Bad Case of Stripes, you're giving them A Bad Case of Stripes. This is why I had such a problem in public school, because when I went in and I went out, I closed my eyes and all I see is stripes. The end of a school day, you close your eyes, stripes everywhere. Because the teacher's like this. And if I were to describe this to you without context, you'd think I was in a jail cell. Okay, that gave me Tempest vibes. Hi, my name is Tempest. And if you don't want me to step on your toes, move your feet. Yeah, that doll, doll self stuff needs an exorcism. Everybody's turning into Annabelle. Felicity Cadillac, take Robert Cadillac to oh. be your husband. 
your spiritual partner and love him unconsciously through thick and thin. I, Felicity Cadillac, take... Who is she getting married to? Which one of these? Is it the, the guy in the flannel? Or the puppet? The, 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 the mannequin in the flannel? Charlotte, do you know these fellows? Robert Cadillac, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for... You know, I, I've heard of people marrying inanimate objects. I've heard of a man who married a doll. I've heard of a woman who married the color pink. And I've heard of a man who married himself. But this beats all three of them. Although Ollie London marrying a cutout of Jimin was pretty far gone. But he converted to Christianity, so congratulations on your salvation. My middle name? It's Koi. Iki Koi Todoroki. Koi, yeah, I can I can understand Koi. There's like the white and the red, and that's that's what a koi fish looks like. But Todoroki? Yeah, if Todoroki saw this, he would unalive himself. It reminds me of the fish. They're so calming. Your future is sushi. And definitely not an Oscar. Took a little bit of ass and let open a straw. Did that tree just talk or was it you? If you didn't do drugs, he would know. I can feel the sun on my skin. Feel my face melt in. Existential bliss. Guys, I think we found Melanie Martinez portals in light mode. Although she already looked like Uniqua from the backyard again. But sure, that can pass as a plant. Hello my friends, thank you so much for asking this question and here's how to use doll dolls pronouns in a sentence. Why? Why is everybody so obsessed with being a doll? Is it because they all had abusers that toyed with them? Why? Why do they want to be dolls? Is it because they never developed and they still have these fantasies about marrying Ken? Now nah, they're probably fantasizing about marrying Barbie. Uh, that's, that's kind of what, you know? Doll is such a great person. Doll's smile is so contagious. Okay, lesbian Snow White. If you're gonna keep doing this whole pronoun thing, you're gonna have to switch up the format. Cause it's always, all right, let's see, let's see what you, what you just said. It's always the same thing. Doll is such a great person. Doll's smile is so contagious. In fact, I saw Doll make a whole audience smile. I think Doll should be very proud of Doll self. Thank you so much for watching this. And then thank you so much for watching this video, blah, 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 blah. Like, you gotta add in something more, add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of spice, add a little bit of chemical X. Or like Marlon Brando would put it, a little moxie. For example, here's what you could do. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use imbecile, imbecile self pronouns. Imbecile is such a controlling person. Imbecile's idiocy is so contagious. In fact, I saw imbecile make a whole generation's brain cells melt. Because imbecile couldn't control imbecile self. I bet imbecile is very proud of imbecile self. I see you guys as stupid just like me, so I don't feel threatened around you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's not proper use of CC. And I love you. <laughs> Gross. Huh? What? Huh? There must be a lot of bees on that beach and wasps and hornets and... Hell, mosquitoes, I don't know. She looks like she's related to Glenn Quagmire. I swear, one day she's gonna come out with a giggity. <laughs> Thanks for the history lesson, uh, Bethany Quagmire. I definitely did not learn a lot about history, but I did learn that I shouldn't inject my face with Botox. I know I fucked up, I'm just a loser. And you ruined it with doll doll self. It, it. I was excited to see an Orange Blossom cosplay from Strawberry Shortcake. I wanted to see Orange Blossom from Strawberry Shortcake. No, we didn't get any of that. We got 
Whatever that is. Bro, I want an orange blossom. I want an orange blossom. Although technically, strawberry shortcake and orange blossom are dolls. No, scratch that. They were first seen on greeting cards. About the dream. Ugh, doll, doll is excited, all right. And change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. Not, bro, not the vegan teacher. Okay. The pitch was pretty good. Okay, Michael Knowles, thank you so much. I'm sorry, Miss Katie, can you speak up a little? I am so thrilled that you think that my pitch is good in that video, you know, because that's what I cared about. You know, it was really out there to be famous and make a performance. Sure seems like that's what it is, because all I'm getting from you is narcissist. So that Michael Knowles could say that I have a good voice. Of course you wanted that. You want people propping you up so that you can promote your BS. Everybody knows this. What the f*** is the matter with you? And on that note... Do you not get the point of the video? 60 million people saw a middle-aged grandmother out there trying to tell the world that they need to be healthier and to stop exploiting animals. Mm -hmm. And I made a difference. Yeah. What are you doing to make the world a better place? Mm. Oh, that's right. You're promoting the torture and murder of innocent animals because you're too mm -hmm. lazy to type into Google healthy vegan recipes. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You're making money by promoting cruelty. Shame on you. Good. Real busting. Christians don't do that. So you're one of those people who thinks that Jesus, who you don't believe in, supports whatever you want. Yeah, you know, forget the fact that he fed fish to thousands of people. Forget that. <sighs> you guys made it to the end. Good job. I hope you guys hated those TikToks but loved my reactions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And remember, boys, be fruitful and multiply. Don't be fruity and kiss a guy. Cringe Panda, over and out. Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What is bro over here doing? Oh, I hate that rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> Dang it! Stop screwing around, SpongeBob. <laughs> Oh, it's an impression battle now. Okay, I can obtuse rubber goose green moose guava juice. Screen you guys, I'm going home. Prince Naveen is coming to New Orleans. <laughs> Come on, Mickey. Let's go, Goofy. Let's go, daughter. Hi, right, right, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey. We have so much fun together. Yeah, we and it was 20% cooler. Good, Minnie. <laughs> well. <laughs> hey, Donald. Yes, Daisy. Let's go out for an anniversary. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, well, we bought off some bubbles and buttercup. The Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Scooby Scooby. <laughs> She's probably upstairs combing her hair so she'll be the prettiest girl at the party. I'm going to be the prettiest girl at the party. We do. <laughs> Bro knows quality children's entertainment. <laughs>